Now, so girl, let's get in here and get this thing started right, baby. You got to excuse me and everything that's going on. I went down to the Christmas party last night. I had a little too much to drink. I slept until 3 o'clock this afternoon, and that's why I ain't called you earlier, girl. But did you get into uh, last night's episode of the Black Ink Crew? First of all, let me tell you something. I've never watched Black Ink Crew before. I wasn't interested. Uh, I, in my mind, I was like, oh, this going to be like that other show. Or I think it's on like A&E, Miami Inc., and I'm not really into the tattoo culture. So I was like, yeah. I'll pass. But after seeing all this drama that been going on down to the social media with Sky and Duchess and um, people was in my Twitter saying I needed to watch, I gave it a try last night. And I'm going to tell you something. I kind of like everything that I saw. Now, I don't know everything that's going on, but I'm going to try to jump into it as best I can. Sky and her mama. One thing I loved about this show is that the storyline seemed to be authentic and none of the scenes seemed to be fake, forced, and, you know, contrived. That shit with Sky and her mama was so deep. You know, abortion is, I mean, not abortion, adoption is very taboo in the black community. Quite frankly, I think more black families and more black people are more receptive to abortion than they are adoption. And, um, y'all, that was a deep situation. Here it is. Sky's mom looks, because of her illness, looks as if she was ill-prepared to take care of Sky, yet alone some grandchildren. That's probably why Sky ended up in and out of jail and, you know, not having a place to live. That Sky has two kids, think, thinking that she's leaving her two kids with somebody safe that she can trust, and then she's in prison, I mean, in jail. And her mom, you know, gave up her children for adoption because she couldn't afford to take care of them. She had no help and she was battling mental illness. Like, y'all, that is really deep. And I don't think that we've yet to see adoption explored, the, 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 the long-term effects of it explored in reality TV just yet. So, shout out to Sky for uh, opening up her life like that and allowing us to share um, but it is weird, and I'm going to tell you something. It's got to be hard for those kids watching it. I'm not saying this is the truth, but from their perspective, it's like, you know, bitch, you don't gave us up for adoption. You know, you pretended like we didn't even exist. Now you on TV all rich and famous. Da, 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 da. You know, fuck you. I know that that is their position. And um, it's got to be a tricky one for her because I'm sure Sky wanted to be in her children's lives um, throughout their tenure with the other family, but I'm sure she was hurt, dealing with shame, dealing with embarrassment. Um, then again, too, she probably felt that them being there with the adopted family was just probably the best choice. She probably was feeling like they're not going to want me after all these years. And let's face it, Sky does come from a troubled background. Not, you know, we don't know what all trauma and abuse that she don't went through in her past life that just made her ill-equipped to take care of these kids. I hope that there can be a healing at some point uh, in life when the kids are ready. And I hope they truly do understand that though Sky didn't raise them, she really did make the best choice for them. I mean... Quiet. Would you want Sky to be your mama, past, present, or future? Okay. Um, girl. Now I don't know what Duchess done did to these people, but these people is not seeing it for Duchess ass. I need y'all to drop that in the comments and tell me why. With me not having the backstory, the way everybody going in on Duchess, good riddance, bitch, fuck you, bitch, die hole, bye, bitch, bye, Felicia. It's feeling like overkill, but I'm going to wait until I speak on that because I don't know what she did. I mean, sometimes a bitch can push you to the point where you get a ass to business every time you film a scene. I don't know, but um, I mean, damn, it's got to suck being Duchess right now. And like every other scene, people are calling out her name. And quite frankly, they're not wishing ill, but they're just happy that your ass is not around. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm used to having beef with one or two bitches, but I ain't used to the whole room not liking me. That shit would have been on fucked up my damn self-esteem. Lord have mercy, Jesus, Duchess, what you don't did to these damn people. Um, Donna, let me tell you something. Donna ain't here for the bullshit. Donna said, listen, sis, 
You not finna bring your ass down to my job and try to embarrass me about your brother. Cause if you do, you gonna catch an eye full of mace. You and your homegirl. And I'ma tell you something. I ain't normally one for the violence and I damn sure ain't one for the mace. But big girl and her friend got exactly what they deserve coming down to that lady child trying to disturb her peace and upset her tears. Okay? And you know they came for some bullshit because... It was a one-on-one -on -one conversation and big girl friend was in the back opening her mouth. But it's her brother. The bitch ain't nobody talking to you and your ass caught an eye full of mace for running your damn mouth, okay? Bitch, now you handicapped. You got a busted mouth and fucked up ass and you deserve every single spray of it. And big girl, you came down there trying to, you know, regulate. You wasn't even crunk enough. You don't let VH1 ass set you the fuck up. Your hair was a set up. That dress you had on was a setup. The God had set you up because he had built you like, like a shiffer robe. You built like a shiffer robe in there with a damn thought dress on from Fashion Nova. And then, girl, you get maced in the face. And then you ended up on the ground somehow. Like VH1 made a fool out of you. And in return, you got hurt feelings. Like you got exactly what you damn deserve. You should have stayed the hell out of that bullshit. And girl, I didn't know the Colombians have good credit and take pride in their credit, honey, because that man said that man was less concerned with the fact that um that woman had a thirty thousand dollar tax bill and more concerned with the fact that they share shit in both of their name and that they could come for his portion too. Yes, God daddy, let me tell you something. That's why I ain't interested in marriage, bitch, unless you gonna pay my student loan bills. If not, uh-uh, honey, you keep your bills over there. I keep mine over here, and we'll put a little bit of money in the joint account for the joint bills. Don't come over here fucking up my life with your bad money management and your finances. I can fuck up my own life on my own, okay? Black Ink Crew, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with it. Now, that Vagina Slayer shit, fake scene, um... I do believe the gun being broke and the girl walking out, that felt a little put together. It felt a little, ooh, let's spice up his first day and let everything go wrong. We know that boy ain't going nowhere. He'll be there. The fact that y'all got somebody on this shit called Vagina Slayer says that y'all built out a character and he gonna be with us for a while. He's the next crazy nut in the bag. And I'm here for it. He cute or whatever in a dirty trade kind of way. Ah, uh, back in crew... You know, I, I, I ain't finna fully commit and say I'ma call y'all every weekend, every week about Black Ink Crew. I gotta, you know, give them a few more uh, cursory tries before I fully indoctrinate them into the fold. But I will say if Wednesday is a slow news day, or Thursday is a slow news day, and I watch it, I might call you. Anyway, that's a girl. Give me y'all thoughts. Y'all fill me in on the tea, and we'll talk later. Bye.